Hey guys, uh, MJ here. You're at my channel called Reading This Life. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. Welcome if you're brand new. Um, today is day 23 of Vlogmas and wow, um, I just got some really bad news. Joan Didion passed away and I'm kind of shocked. Um, it's funny because we're prepping for Christmas Eve and doing stuff around the house and I made my water and I told my husband, I said, I'm coming up and gonna film and do the Vlogmas video of the day. And he said, honey, do you know this person? And I said, who? He's like, come here, quick, quick, quick. And I saw on the TV and it was her, her face. And I said, I said, tell me she didn't pass away. And he's like, she passed away. And I'm like, no, not another great one. I mean, they said on the news that she suffered from complications um, of Parkinson's disease. And, um, you know, she she's so small and frail. Um, it's... I feel like I'm getting punched, you know? First we had, um, I'm drawing a blank. Why am I drawing a blank? Interview with the vampire, Anne Rice. First we had Anne Rice and now we have John Didion. It's like, it's like, okay, you know, we have to, who else do we have to bubble wrap? Um, so Joan really is an American icon. Um, you know, if you're not familiar with her writing, I highly recommend, um, I recommend watching the documentary first. There's a documentary on Netflix called The Center Will Not Hold. And I think it was filmed by her nephew um, and she's in it. Um, and they go through her history a little bit. I haven't seen it. I think it came out maybe four or five years ago. Um, but, you know, her style and just, the way that she writes, it's just different. You know how each author has her own signature as to how they write? Um, hers was just unique. And she, you know, she tapped into a, a bunch of, of different um, avenues in her writing. You know, she had some political writing, um, nonfiction, uh, the story, um, the history of um, the year of magical thinking, which is one of her um most famous most acclaimed book it's just it is an amazing amazing um situation that happened to her i'm not going to spoil it anything for anyone um but i will read the back i hope um joan and the estate and everybody that's in charge don't they don't mind i'm reading the back but it just says and it's kind of fitting um life changes fast life changes in the instant you sit down to dinner and life as you know it ends i'm going to leave it at that but if you've never read um the year of magical thinking i highly recommend it this book made such an impact on me and i remember closing up and being like thank you for bringing this book into my world because i feel like a different person now i don't know like i i got another level of depth to myself by putting my feet in someone else's shoes and walking their path if that makes sense so yeah so whoo sad um so let's get to the tea <laughs> i don't want my water to get cold um all right so today's tea three licorice I'm not looking forward to it it says a sweet song of flavorsome licorice from Kazakhan, Kaz, oh, Kazakhan, Georgia, in Egypt. It's not Kazakhstan, 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 Georgia, in Egypt. Um, and it says as sweet as sweet can be. With three forms of licorice blended beautifully for a tea. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to try it out. So, yeah. So, here I was coming up. Like I said, we're prepping for um, Christmas Eve. We host. And, um, you know, we pretty much have it all down to a science. But, you know, we're cooking and prepping and doing all this stuff. And um, we just decided to call it. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go upstairs and have my tea. And, man, I got that news. Shocker. Complete shocker. 
Um, I think she won, she won an American award, like one of the highest American awards for um, the arts. I think President Obama gave it to her. Medal, I don't think it's the Medal of Freedom. It's some type of medal. Um, but she received it while he was in administration. We all know he's a big reader. Um, but yeah, that's just, oh. you have to watch that movie documentary. If you've never seen it, Netflix, the center will not hold become a fan like I did. And just the life that she lived, you know, God love her. God love her. God bless you. You're with your family now. That's one blessing is that she's with her family. Whew. Let me know in the comment section down below. Were you a fan of Joan Didion? Do you know who she is? Have you ever heard of her? Is this complete news to you like it was to me? Um, yeah, so like two great authors in a month. Who do we have to bubble wrap? Who's next? I don't want anybody to be next. I, I need more books. <sighs> so yeah. I'm glad you guys are here so I could process this with you. Um. Okay, so the tea is still steeping. And I texted two of my friends that um, know of Joan and I'm like, oh my God, Joan Didion died, I'm so sad. I'm gutted. Like, she was just so, she's so cute. Please watch that documentary on Netflix. I hope it's still on there. Um, but she, she was just kick ass. I don't know how else to explain it. She partied with the doors in Malibu, you know, just, she was in it in the 60s, 60s and 70s, I'd say. Um, you know, writing about diff about different cultural aspects, um, you know, and then she did get a little bit, um, I think she has a book called Democracy. She got a little political, um, but yeah, just the flavor of her writing is, is just so, so good. Like each classic, I consider her a classic author. This book is a classic. I think they also turned it into, um, a, a play on Broadway. I think Vanessa Redgrave played her um, and it, it was, it ran for, for quite a while. Um, but yeah, just, just an icon. You know, we lost another icon. Sad. All right, let's get to that tea. Ooh, it's not as dark as I thought it would be. Not as potent as I thought it would be. Three licorice, what's going on? Oh, I just spilled it. Okay, it's not too hot. All right, let's try it. Yeah, it tastes like licorice. It's potent. Read the ingredients. So we've got Kazakhstani, is that how you say it? Licorice root is 45%. Georgian licorice root is 45%. And Egyptian licorice root is 10%. Contains licorice. People suffering from hypertension should avoid excessive consumption. There you go. Um, it's not as bad, as, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But if you like blackjack gum, remember the old fashioned gums? It's got a blackjack thing going on with the licorice. Mm. Not my favorite, not the worst. Um, there's a little sweet finish to it, but yeah, triple licorice. What is it supposed to do? I don't even know. It is sweet. Okay. So yeah, so that's that's the that's the news. That's what I got going on. Just so sad, you know? Um yeah, I came up here not having anything to talk about and here I am. Um okay, so the other thing I wanted to mention is Simon Savage from Savage Reads um, tweeted out today that he was going to read Fingersmith by Sarah Waters over the weekend, um, the long weekend, and I think he may do a, a vlog about it on Tuesday. I've never read Fingersmith, have you? Comment down below and let me know if you have. Um, 
Don't think I'd be able to start it and finish it by then because, you know, holidays, life and all that stuff. But this is actually one of the books that um, I am planning on reading in 2022. I've had this literally on my bookshelf downstairs for about five or six years, maybe. Always see it. And when I see it, I'm like, oh yeah, that book. So maybe this year will be it. Maybe I'll start it if I have some downtime. Um, gonna have some time off from the day job. So um, maybe I'll get it started. I was gonna talk about that. So I just wanted to let you know. Simon Savage, Savage Reads, um, check out his YouTube channel. He's also on Twitter, very entertaining. Um, love him, he's a, he's a fantastic booktuber. Always has great recommendations, great picks. So guys, I guess that's it. Um, we only have one more day left. So tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna squeeze it in somehow. I'm gonna get dressed up for y'all and um, go through my top rated books of 2022. The ones that I gave five stars to on Goodreads. Um, there's a bunch of fiction, nonfiction. There's a little bit of something for everybody. So that'll be like my end of the year uh, favorite books of 2021. And then after that, guys, I'm going to take a break and I will not see you again until probably January 2nd. So yeah, so we'll spend some time together. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope um, your holiday stress is manageable. Make sure you get all your stuff done. Don't forget the stocking stuffers. Um, you know, and holidays are tough for a lot of people. Uh, so, you know, if you're one of those individuals that's having a tough time, reach out to somebody, chit chat with somebody. Um, you know, make sure, uh, you know, you remember the spirit of the season. Um, do something kind for someone else. Um, take some time for yourself. Um, you know, it's, and just try to embrace. I mean, Christmas is, is filled with so much hustle and bustle and rush and you gotta do this and you gotta do that, but it's in the quiet moments when you just reflect and that's, that's when the true meaning happens for me. So I wish that for you. Um, yeah, so wherever you are, day or night, having a good day or bad day, know that tomorrow may be way better. So until next time, guys, goodbye for now.